Oh wow, that's like 50 Ashies. I don't even have any troops. How am I gonna deal with that? Hello everyone, it's Yagrokid coming at you today with another video. In this one, I'll be playing as the Dutch civilization against Japan and Aztecs. And I'm with um, the Brits. Alright, so we're playing on Mongolia. So what I'm gonna do is a fast industrial because you get your yaks on this map. So it's it's a very like strong map uh, for yeah this strategy. But I'd say it's difficult to do fast industrial on different maps. Okay, so since you start with 200 wood, I think what I'll do is a market. And obviously a house, because you'll age up with 15 bills as usual. But I'll need just a bit more coin because I'll um, have to get that hunting dog upgrade, which costs 50 coin. And 50 wood, of course. So yeah, at least I have three um, scouts. Well, if I count my explorer. So that's really nice, because I'll, I'll be getting a lot of yaks. It's going to help out a lot with the, the strategy. So I think I'm gonna drop a market. Hello. Okay, yeah, exactly. So I get the market. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I wanna get like well since I get five banks that's already like really helpful. But I'll get eventually my extra two banks from the church card. And I'll chop a bit of wood and then have like seven banks in total so that's like gonna be my coin production I put all my bills on food after that and I'll be able to age pretty quickly so yeah I get hunting dogs and now I'll need more on coin just to get my villager production flowing so yeah that's what I do so I have six on coin yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now with this build, I guess you could chop it another um, extra 25 wood to get that placer mine upgrade, but I just feel like, I don't know, it, it would be too slow, I feel like. And also, you lose that 50 wood to get your first bank, so it's probably not that good. So I micro this... What is it? I think 120 XP or something like that. Treasure. And yeah, I have 15 uh, veils in total, so now I put all of my veils on food. And I'll try to age up with the 400 wood. And yeah, this is gonna help a lot, because I'll need XP to get my shipments really quickly. So yeah, that's a huge XP boost. Now, if un uh, unfortunately, the, the hunts can, like, be heard really properly, except the, the one with the deers. So, that's gonna be a little issue, but it's not too bad. Just because they're a bit further away from my town center, but it's not too much of a big deal. Now I put... 10 vills on wood, ideally, and um, the rest on food. Plus I have hunting dogs, so that's why I get my gang saw. Because I feel like I can actually like get my uh, bank on time, just because I have hunting dogs. Also, I'll be, needed, uh, be needing gang saw for when I chop wood for my two extra banks that I get from the church. So that's gonna help a lot. And yeah, I should put a bit more on wood, but I guess I don't. But as, as you can see, my food eco is like really good. It's, I get a lot of food per second just because I have like hunting dogs. So getting gang saw wasn't a problem at all. And yeah, I'm already at 8 cows apparently. Or yaks, so that's pretty good. Okay, So yeah, my bank is a little slow. Like, I should have put a bit more on wood, but that's fine. Oh, 
work so I can get my bank. Then the rest I'll put them on coin just to get my villager as soon as possible. And I'll need a bit of wood. Uh, so I gather those wood crates and I'll get just banks. I won't even do houses or um, barracks or stables. I'll just go straight for banks. Yeah, now I get my bills because this bank generates a lot of coin. So yeah, I can already drop a second bank, which is actually like I can do it quite early because hunting dogs once again helps a lot. And then yeah, I do like pretty much a classic build: 700 wood, then the bank wagon, then probably 600 wood, I think. And yeah, I gather that wood, and I'll drop, I think, two more banks with that 700 wood. And yeah, now that I have two banks, I don't need as many bills on coin. Like, three is way enough. So, I just want to get, like, my villager production going, so that's why I only put a couple on, uh, on coin. Yeah. So yeah, I have enough for third bank, plus I get my bank wagon, so that's gonna be four. And yeah, this treasure is pretty good. But now this guy's coming, so that's not gonna help. And my um, maze explorer is super yeah, okay. low HP because he kind of missed my uh, miss my crow. So unfortunately, I think this treasure is gonna get stolen by the opponent. So I get uh, at least I kill this Mongol scout, but. My explorer is probably going to go down, okay, yeah. or maybe I'll escape, but I'll, I'll lose the yeah, treasure, yeah. yeah. Okay, okay. okay, yeah, so I have five banks oh, now. Yeah, yeah. So with the 600 wood, I think I'll make um, the church, and maybe probably get like more market upgrades, and then Hello? get the, once yeah, I send okay. in the yeah, church yeah, card, yeah, yeah. I'll yeah. get the church upgrade to get my two banks, so I'll need a lot of wood, so I'll put fields on wood. And yeah, I guess I make one house. Not really, like, needed, but I mean, it, it, it gives me XP, so it's not bad. Because I think I can get that next shipment, yeah, pretty soon. So yeah, um, still chats, place mines. And I'm saving up. Okay, yeah, I'm making that church. Okay. And the rest of the wood, I think I'll save it up for um, my banks. So yeah, church card. So yeah, when you do fast industrial, there's not really like a rush to, to age, like really quickly to age three. You can do it quite slowly, but even yeah, now, okay. um, I'm yeah. like really close uh, yeah, to okay, aging, yeah, yeah, okay. so I'm yeah. not. I wasn't even that slow. Okay, maybe like yeah. nine minutes. Oh, it's gonna oh, take maybe oh, nine oh, minutes. Oh, but yeah, now I put like ten on wood. Yeah, I can yes. age. I don't know if I realize it. Probably not. Okay, yeah. So yeah, age up fast. Just it's the best option. Or actually. Oh yeah, I think I could take one covered wagon because I don't need to age up fast. It won't really give me much. And it seems that I canceled placer mines, which makes sense because I want to get those banks quickly. And then after, maybe I'll get placer mines. I'm not sure. Alright, so I should make a bank. Once, oh yeah, once the upgrade comes in. And I get, I'll get that wood treasure. So that's going to help quite a bit. Yeah. So yeah, two town centers also will like protect me even more. Because I, I, if you put like ten vill villagers in like both town centers, um, they both fire like at once. So 
Hello. It, it like protects you a lot. It one shot kills pretty much um, any like troops, except like uh, cab and those high HP troops. So it it one shots infantry. Yeah, Jager, Jager. And also it gives you access to another, um, how are they called, the, oh yeah, Minutemen, so, this is quite good. So yeah, I have like quite a bit of yaks now. And as you can see, I have no villagers on coin, but my, like, I have so much coin because I have, yeah, I have the seven banks now, so, it's really good. And I think... I'll save up for a thousand wood. Okay, no, I send that in. Yeah, that's fine too, because I mean, it's good for late game. I'm pretty much saying setting it up for uh, late game, so it's totally fine. I put more on wood, and then I'll be able to get um, my eighth eighth bank. So right now I'm looking good, and I age up that ten minutes with this. Uh, um, with the covered Hello, wagon, yeah. so I mean, it's actually pretty good, like, timing, it's fine. Claire. Okay, so yeah. I should, yeah, I'll chop that bank soon. And now I'm killing my yaks because I'll age up to four pretty soon, too. And I, I no longer need wood. Also, notice that I um, got the second wood upgrade um, after getting saw when I, I chopped wood for my two banks, two extra banks, so yeah, that's something you can do as well. It's worth it because you'll need to chop a lot of wood. It's like, uh, well, it's 700 for both banks, and then plus another 350, so 1,050 in total. So yeah, it's definitely worth it. And yeah, now I can, I have so much coin, I can, I can produce fills from both my town centers, and it's no big deal. So yeah, that's really helpful. And I can age. See, I think a thousand coins is really the best option. A fort can be good, but I mean, in this, I guess, situation, it could have been good, but I don't know, a thousand coins is just more value, I feel like. And the thing is, because I have the church card sent in, I can actually make my, um... Uh, the the musketeers industrial upgraded musketeers in industrial age plus I can make the five um, calf guys so it's really really nice yeah and yeah I get that um, 1,500 XP for 1,500 1, coin and this is fine okay. just because I have so much no. coin it doesn't matter okay. it's actually good because I can send in my um, refrigeration and then I can I still have two shipments left for both of my factories or heavy cannons depending on like if they attack or not Hello? And yeah now I have a lot of on wood because I'll yes. be making my barracks uh, more houses and pump out a lot of troops see so yeah, I'm Hello? almost up yeah, I'm making more bills. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's hot. So, yeah, 13 minutes and 20 seconds, and I'm aged up to four. So, that's actually pretty good. And I really like getting the 1500 XP for 1500 coin just because. Pretty much, you get your factories way um, sooner, so you'll pretty much like get your coin back. It's usually worth it. Plus, you get like three shipments in total, so I got refrigeration, which gives you a lot of um, food as well. But yeah, now they're attacking, which is like, I think the right time. They could have put more early pressure, but they didn't. Um, but yeah, that, I lost quite a bit of bills. Now I gotta defend. It's gonna be tough. But the thing is, I do have my um. Well, I have both Minutemen. Yeah, I'm sending them in, and I also have 
when I have 2,000 coin, I can send in my um, musketeers from the church. Which I'm a little slow at doing for now, because I could send it right now. So I think I forgot, but it would have helped a lot. Yeah, this seems pretty good. The attack and HP for scares. Um, one thing I forgot in my deck, I think, is uh, the the card that like gives you plus 15% production to your banks. This is really good because like when you have eight banks, well, it's a lot of resources. So I should have had that in my deck. I would have sent it in um, third place instead of uh, the skirmishers HP and attack, but I didn't like I didn't have it. So yeah. But yeah, I make more houses, and yeah, I don't know, like, I think I forgot, because I should send it right now, um, from the church. The two, uh, it's 30 musketeers for 2,000 coin. Okay, now I'm doing it, finally. And yeah, that should clean up everything. They're so, like, powerful, just because they're, like, industrial upgraded, so. There we go. And now I'm looking good. I even have enough for the FUD cab, which I might send in. And yeah, I'm switching to um, heavy cannons production. And if you didn't see my last video, where I had like 9 or... Yeah, no, it was 11 heavy cannons and I just wrecked his whole army. It's really funny, you should watch it out. Um, but this is pretty much how I get so many heavy cannons. It's from this, uh, my factories, and also the two heavy cannon shipments. And yeah, right now I can clean this up by myself. My mate wasn't helping that much, surprisingly. But yeah, I killed this Daimyo, and then... Japan isn't really a threat anymore, so I'll be able to clean this up. And I think I sent in, well, I think two heavy cannons would have been better, but whatever. I sent in the uh, infantry HP. Hello? And now I should get more, I guess, yeah, on food. And more on coin would be fine. Still have eight villagers, or nine idols. Yeah. But yeah, I, I still have a couple of yaks, but I think I'm just saving them for when I like will age up to age five. And yeah, my heavy cans are almost ready to go. Yeah, my coin is quite low. I think I lost a couple of banks, so that's why I have so many on wood. I'll rebuild them. And I still have a couple on coin, which is fine. Uh, because, yeah, I'm kind of lacking on coin right now. At least I have both training posts, so I'll be able to upgrade them and then put them on wood, which will help quite a bit. Because, yeah, the thing is, because I make heavy cannons, I'll have to have more on wood, because usually my factories would be either on wood or heavy cans production, so that's why. But, I mean, heavy cans are just so good. You've you got to do them, especially when you do fast industrial. That's really, like, what makes it so good with us, with Dutch, especially. And, yeah, now I have, what, four heavy cans, so that's pretty good. And yeah, I need more banks. I think eventually I'll get some. But yeah, I got my arsenal, and that's fine too, because I get um, long lines, I think it's called. It pretty much gives you a 3 times modifier against uh, 
infantry, heavy infantry, so it's pretty good. I think what I could have done though is get my, instead of making the arsenal, just upgrade my skirmishers from the uh, barrack, but whatever. He was making Ashgar musketeers, so I mean, the three times multiplier is fine too. And yeah, now I have six heavy cans, I think. So yeah, it's just very powerful. I rebuild my bank, so I didn't lose too much, to be honest. There's one more to rebuild, and then I'm fine. But, um... I should be able to put my trading post on on wood, which I'm not doing right now. But anyways, yeah, um, this would help a lot. And yeah, now my heavy cannons are in. They just smelt those, uh... Mace. Yeah, I have almost all my um, skirms upgrades, so they're just super OP. Plus, I'll get my uh, skirm upgrades from the barracks, so they'll be industrial. And yeah, I just I'm keep making houses, and I have um, enough wood just because I put more on wood, and I still get my heavy cans, so it's really good. Just put more on wood and get your heavy cans, it's really worth it, instead of putting your factories on wood. And at this point, I don't think, like, they can win it. When you go against Dutch, especially on this map, try to, like, do some early pressure, maybe rush or um, a time push, like an FF, and then you attack them. Because, like, 13 minutes, that's pretty easy for the... Like, 13 minutes in the game is, isn't, is like, that much time. So it's pretty easy for, for Dutch to get, like, um, to go industrial and then get all those heavy cans and then wreck you. So you can't wait too long. Like, maybe at 10 minutes you attack. If not, you're pretty much going to lose. Alright, so now I'm going to check the post game. So resources, I had 10,000 more than Brits. So it's really strong. Um, military I did super good, killed 182 units, only lost 70, so really good ratio. And my mate did quite fine as well, but I think he, he said his computer was lagging, like he did have a lot of villagers, but didn't have many troops. So. But I guess that makes sense because he aged up to 4, so he was kind of doing fast industrial, sort of. But he, he still had like a couple of units. So, I think if I was him, I would have just, like, tried to stay, um, fortress and get more units so I can age up and then he protects me if they attack, because he didn't have much when, um, they attacked me. But yeah, I could, like, they're so OP, I, I could defend it on my own. But anyways, that's the end of today's video. I hope you liked it. If you did, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, share the channel, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.